Why are there so many Nigerian students in Ghana University? Between Nigeria University and Ghana University, which one is the best? Does it not mean that Ghana University are better than Nigeria University? Why are there large populations of Nigeria students in Ghana, studying in Ghana University? Why? Why not in abroad? If Nigeria University is actually, actually better than Ghana University. So I have come across such arguments lately. So why I want to talk about the reason why there are a lot of Nigerian students studying in Ghana University. I have come across such arguments several times in other people's posts and Last month, I had a discussion with somebody in one of my videos consigning the large population of Nigerians living in Ghana. And then the person called a figure, a kind of a figure, a number, okay? And then he finally concluded and said, the figure he is calling is that he did not include those that are actually in the universities, that there are actually large numbers of Nigerians okay in ghana and and that drew to my attention that want to that made me want to talk about this particular topic why are they large numbers why are there so many nigerians studying in ghana university does it now mean that ghana university is better than nigeria university so nigeria does not have any good university again so in this video you will get to find out all the questions running through my head and I know most of you must have known the reasons, okay? Well, before then, if you are new to my channel, you are highly welcome. My name is Mary Queen. I'm a Nigeria content creator. Do not forget to click on that like and subscribe button to join their family. Okay, let's head to today's points, my points. Firstly, if I must say, as a Nigeria born and brought up and grew up in Nigeria, okay, I know what life and studies looks like in Nigeria. But so as someone who, are, who, who does not, who hasn't been to Ghana and doesn't have an experience apart from things I see on social media, okay? So I'll also give my own points about between Nigeria University and Ghana University, which one is better. And then, but before that, let's go to the, some of the major reasons why there are so many Nigerians studying large number of nigerians studying in ghana university okay so since there's a large number of the number one is since there is large number of nigerians living in ghana and some of them has given birth okay they have raised they have lived there all their lives they have brought up their children there so they have the fact Ghana is practically their home, okay? So, this, since their family is over there, and their kids that they they born in that same country, which is Ghana, definitely, once they reach the... Definitely, since they are living in Ghana, where they will study is still in Ghana. And if they reach university standard, this university stage, they will also want to go to Ghana. Because you wouldn't tell, because why they are living in Ghana, so because they don't they have reached to the stage of studying or uh, stage of university they will not travel back home no it does not suit right it does not it's either instead of them to travel back home to nigeria to go study they rather travel abroad to go to study so the number one reason is that some of them are people who are already born and brought up in ghana so that's why okay that's the number one reason why you see so many nigerians studying in Ghana University. And then the number two as well I would love to talk about is, you know, in Nigeria, yes, there are some people who was not born and brought up in, in Ghana that just come to Ghana just for studies. A lot of Nigerians do that, yes. Uh -huh. So the, some reasons why they do that is, in Nigeria, there is something called jam. Jam. You see the kind of stress that this particular stuff called jam gives eh? anybody if you have a miss of jabbing to ghana just to go have your study 
and not go through the stress of jam, you will definitely do it. Anybody will do it. I that was born and brought up in Nigeria and has been through school in Nigeria knows what it looks like, knows what stress, what the stress of wanting to get an admission in Nigeria could actually look like, especially that process of right sitting for that exam called jam. So this the full meaning of this particular jam is joint admission and matriculation board so is an entrance exam in order for you to be able to enter university without this you cannot get admission into university in nigeria and it's so stressed out it's just sitting for it just once in a year if you sit for it okay that does not even include your wayek your neko and other what, uh, exams that you you one has to write in secondary schools that does not include it the west african examination whatever uh, that does not include it this one is different the jam and it's so so stressed out so so stressful for anyone okay you can sit for it if you come and finish your results will be the results will not be poor the courses that you're looking for you may not be able to get it and if you do not get it very well you likely not to have the admission or sometimes you may not even get the admit due to the scores you get in that jam you may not be able you may end up not getting the dream university you desire and you wanted to study in you just find yourself you know taking the next you know descending for, uh, for less or taking the next option so and once it's since it's once in a year if you fail this year you have to wait to next year so and it's so so stressful you guys Many people don't want to go through that stress. So they prefer if they have the money, they'll just leave to any other country that doesn't have such. The number three is strike in the universities of Nigeria, most especially in the public universities. Anybody that knows Nigeria, anybody that wants to have a full, that doesn't, you know, this word now, nobody gets too much money to be entering uh, private universities. So everybody want to go to public universities, government universities, okay state universities so that is it strike you can actually wake up in a day the school has decided to go on strike only these strikes alone is can make someone want to go to any nearby country to go study because you see this strike hey strike can take two years three years school has not even think of resuming recalling student back and some courses three years four years is enough for you to finish it while you are still at home waiting for school to resume while you got admission you're waiting for school to resume to call off strike the strike of a team is so stressful even self some people said due to the strike of a team they will go learn work some even abandon the studies some will even give up some will you know some will get discouraged it's wasting time so we even get married at the process because the strike is something else when nigeria's university start and decides to go on strike sometimes it takes one year two years three years they never even like wasting people's time you know the stress so those are some reasons i felt anyone who wants to go and go to any other african country to study or go to ghana someone to would be like why not then go to abroad since uh, nigeria have a good school yes i can attest to this that nigeria have a good universities i cannot come here to tell you that uh Ghana does not have a good university. No, no, no. I haven't in any way studied or have anything related to Ghana universities. I, okay, it's only those who have who are Nigerians that are studying in Ghana that can actually share their experience of what it looks like and which one is better than any other one. So me coming here to tell you, yeah, Nigeria own is better than uh, Ghana own or Ghana own is better than Nigeria own is is not fact. And then is not good for we humanity and we africans it's not good for in fact it's not a but it's not a good idea right then the only thing i can actually tell you is that some will be like eh, since nigeria university has this kind of issues why not travel to abroad well when it comes to traveling to abroad some people may not be able to travel to abroad due to money finances okay so they may not prefer to go to nearby countries like ghana 
Okay, we all know Ghana as well speaks English just like we. That's why most people uh, feel more free. You cannot tell somebody that is in Nigeria to come to Senegal, not to come study. Before you go here, bonjour, français, come up at you, you go run. Or to go to Cameroon, although Cameroon, some sad part as well speaks uh, French, right? And speaks English. But then, you know, Nigeria and the uh, Ghana bonding are just that. Oh, something so special and unique, even though say we get banter. So, so many people prefer it. And then, talking about abroad, not everybody wants to go to abroad. Some people prefer staying close to home, where they can easily go back home, where they can easily, you know, call their parents, feel still, feel at home. You know, when you study in Ghana, you still feel at home. And another one is that for them not going to abroad, studying also helps they are also helping the economy of Africa. They are also helping the economy of Ghana. At least, I learned that they do not pay in CDs. Rather, they also pay in dollar. You can imagine them also paying in dollar. Okay? It's also them helping to circulate the money and it's also benefiting to Ghana, the economy of Ghana. And it's even better for them. If Ghana actually has a better, a good study environment, a good university, why not? If not, why not going to um, abroad, UK and all that? I think it's also best them studying there in Ghana, okay? But then, like I said, the other reasons are some reasons that you will see most Nigerians study in Ghana. Okay, I'm not here to talk about which school better pass which one. If Ghana own is best or is better than that of Nigeria, then so be it. I'm not here to argue about it, okay? What I'm here to argue is better, instead of them to go in house abroad, it's best studying in Ghana. At least to also help our economy. They are also, you know, sowing the seeds in their mother's land, in the Africa. Not everybody that can afford going abroad to study. And some people might not really feel at home. You know, some people just want to be close to home. So that's why they may prefer studying in ghana rather than traveling abroad since nigerians have strike and so many other little issues but talking about nigerian did he have a good university oh yes nigeria has a very good university at least we have a lot of very good university we have university of nigeria and suka we have in fact to have a lot of universities that are really we have even like uh, university of lagos a lot good universities are in nigeria and as I learned as well, Ghana's do have theirs, which I said I'm not here to compare the two countries. No, I'm only here to share my little ideas on why you find large number of Nigerian students studying in Ghana. Okay, and some people just want to explore, just want to leave, just leave home. You know, when they come back, they will be like they are in abroad. They they come back from abroad, right? Yes, yeah, some people want to, you know leave they don't want to go through the stress of studying in nigeria because studying in nigeria is actually stressful it's stressful trust me very 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 stressful only that strike of a team self can make anyone to give up serious like why not also study in nigeria in private universities not everybody that wants to study in private university and not everybody can afford afford private universities private and besides private is for the people that reach Okay, that is it. I hope I've been able to uh, answer some many reasons. I'm not going to say it's a popular opinion, though, because some people that actually went there, they have their own reasons, and it's not a popular uh, opinion, but these are the major uh, reasons, okay, why you find some Nigerians, okay? Okay, because you can actually wake up and see a Nigerian that will tell you that he prefers that of Ghanaian. And besides, some people might even want that of Ghana in order to have their accents, you know, things like that. Okay? You got me? Pasta? <laughs> they want to talk called pasta? You know, some kind of things. So everybody with their own individual reasons why they want to So do not forget to like this video and do what? Let me know your thoughts on the comment section. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.